In the intricate landscape of global diplomacy, the United States' move to impose sanctions on China's semiconductor sector was more than just a strategic decision. It was a bold assertion of technological superiority. These restrictions, aimed at curbing China's access to advanced chip technologies, were driven by deep-rooted national security concerns. U.S. officials feared that cutting-edge semiconductors could bolster China's military strength and cyber capabilities. As U.S. Secretary of Commerce Gina Raimondo emphasized, limiting China's reach to these critical technologies is essential for protecting national security interests. The stakes couldn't be higher. Semiconductors power everything from smartphones to artificial intelligence. By restricting China's ability to procure advanced chips, the U.S. aimed to slow its technological ascent. However, in trying to contain one competitor, the U.S. inadvertently fueled a global tech rivalry of an unprecedented scale. China's rapid countermeasures intensified geopolitical tensions and disrupted international supply chains. In 2021, China imported $432 billion worth of semiconductors, underscoring its heavy dependence on foreign suppliers. But by the close of 2023, that figure had plunged to approximately $230 billion, a dramatic $200 billion drop. This wasn't just a reduction in trade. It signaled a decisive shift toward self-reliance. Government-backed initiatives like Made in China 2025 have poured billions into domestic semiconductor production, enabling companies like Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, or SMIC, to accelerate efforts in reducing reliance on Western technology. A recent Financial Times report highlighted a significant rise in China's chip self-sufficiency, reinforcing its strategic move toward domestic capability. This rapid advancement sparks important questions. What does it mean for industries dependent on Western suppliers? Is China's growing technological ambition reshaping the sector, or is it isolating itself? Stay with us as we examine the larger implications for global trade and U.S. businesses. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Your support makes all the difference. If you thought U.S. sanctions had permanently crippled Huawei, Think again. In 2023, Huawei introduced the Mate 60 Pro, a smartphone powered by a domestically developed 7 nanometer Kirin chip. Industry experts, who had once doubted China's ability to innovate under sanctions, were stunned. Huawei's 5G based stations, built entirely from Chinese made components, further reinforced the company's resilience. These breakthroughs prove that what was once seen as a roadblock has instead become a driving force for progress. Similarly, Huawei's 5G based stations have become a cornerstone of China's digital infrastructure. Industry analyst Dan Hutcherson from Tech Insights noted that this showcases a much stronger resilience in China's tech sector than many had expected. These achievements go beyond mere technological progress. They represent declarations of self-sufficiency. Chinese consumers are already reaping the benefits of more affordable 5G-enabled devices and greater access to advanced technology. Meanwhile, global markets are feeling the heat from the growing competition posed by these cost-effective alternatives. What does this mean for global innovation? The emergence of Chinese-made processors like the Lungsen series is making waves across industries, from artificial intelligence to aerospace. These chips, now powering supercomputing platforms and defense systems, are challenging the long-standing belief that only Western technologies can lead in high-tech fields. A Reuters report from October 2023 highlighted how Chinese firms are utilizing domestic chips to fuel advancements in industrial robotics and autonomous vehicle technology. The U.S. has long held dominance in the semiconductor industry, but SMIC's production of advanced 5 nanometer chips has disrupted the market. This has allowed China to sidestep export restrictions while simultaneously advancing in quantum computing. 
But do these technological gains promote global accessibility, or are they deepening the divide between competing tech superpowers? Intel's Q3 2023 earnings report revealed a steep revenue drop with sales to China plunging 27% year over year. Likewise, Texas Instruments, a major supplier of analog chips, reported a $2.3 billion revenue shortfall largely due to reduced demand from Chinese customers. This downturn isn't isolated to just these companies. It has far-reaching consequences for the broader tech ecosystem. As China ramps up domestic production, U.S. firms are losing a key revenue stream that once accounted for up to 30% of their annual sales. This raises a pressing question. Are sanctions backfiring on the U.S.? In 2020, China's share of global semiconductor manufacturing was 15%. By 2023, that number had nearly doubled to 30%. This rapid expansion has been driven by significant government subsidies and strategic partnerships with allied nations. A 2023 Wall Street Journal report revealed that Chinese chipmakers have constructed over 50 new fabrication plants within the last two years. This rapid expansion not only diversifies global semiconductor production, but also ramps up competition against industry leaders like Taiwan's TSMC and South Korea's Samsung. How will this surge in manufacturing impact product pricing for consumers? And what ripple effects will these shifts have in markets beyond the tech sector? At the same time, U.S. sanctions have inadvertently hurt South Korea's semiconductor industry. Major players like Samsung and SK Hynix, which depend heavily on exports to China, are now struggling with reduced market access. Meanwhile, China's rapid advances in DRAM and nanotechnology are closing the gap between its domestic firms and industry giants. According to a Bloomberg report, Samsung's semiconductor division experienced a 12% drop in revenue in the third quarter of 2023, while SK Hynix suffered its biggest profit decline since 2017. As Chinese companies become increasingly self-sufficient, both firms are scrambling to adapt. Can South Korea's legacy of innovation help it regain its competitive edge? Or is this a lasting shift in the global semiconductor landscape? China's impact extends far beyond hardware production. Domestically developed chips now power essential data centers, telecom networks, and AI systems across the country. Companies like Alibaba and Tencent are rapidly phasing out imported processors in favor of homegrown alternatives. By 2023, over 60% of China's cloud computing infrastructure was running on locally produced chips, according to Nikkei Asia. This transformation is a major step toward reducing reliance on foreign suppliers, strengthening critical infrastructure, and even stabilizing electronics prices within China. As domestic chip-powered devices become more widely available, the market sees an increasing presence of homegrown technology. However, globally, some regions are experiencing supply disruptions or price hikes due to their dependence on Chinese imports. The question remains, can China maintain this rapid expansion without compromising quality? Key players like SMIC and YMTC are now reshaping the global semiconductor industry. SMIC's ability to manufacture advanced 7 nanometer chips serves as a direct response to U.S. export restrictions, while YMTC's 232-layer NAND flash memory is setting new standards for consumer electronics. These companies are no longer just catching up. They are actively driving innovation in performance and efficiency. Their rise is challenging industry giants like Intel and TSMC, shifting the global balance of power in semiconductors. Ironically, U.S. sanctions aimed at slowing China's technological progress have instead accelerated its advancements. In response, the U.S., But will these efforts be enough to keep up with China's relentless push forward? 
Through subsidies, stronger alliances with key nations like South Korea, and encouraging private sector research and development, the U.S. is trying to regain its competitive edge. But are these efforts enough to maintain technological dominance? Trade restrictions have forced China to invest massive resources into research and development. In 2023 alone, government spending on semiconductor research exceeded $20 billion. According to MIT Technology Review, these sanctions have triggered a survival mentality among Chinese tech firms, driving them to innovate faster than expected. This raises an important question. Have U.S. policies unintentionally given China the tools to surpass its rivals? As the world's largest buyer of semiconductors, China holds enormous influence over global supply chains. In 2023, Chinese companies accounted for 38% of global chip demand, forcing suppliers to adapt or face serious revenue losses. Even as U.S. export bans target Chinese firms, global suppliers like ASML and Applied Materials struggle to balance compliance with economic interests. But what happens when China leverages its purchasing power to reshape global trade rules? Scene 13. Memory Technology The mass production of 232-layer NAND flash memory by YMTC is a major milestone in memory technology, positioning China at the forefront of high-capacity storage solutions, essential for data-driven industries. With competitors like Micron and Western Digital struggling to keep up, could this innovation shift the center of memory technology leadership from Silicon Valley to Shenzhen? China's push for semiconductor self-sufficiency is reshaping global power dynamics. Not only does it reduce China's exposure to sanctions, but it also strengthens its leverage in international relations. Experts like Chris Miller, author of Chip War, argue that China's advancements in semiconductors are a geopolitical game-changer. Could this signal a new era where technological leadership influences global alliances and economic strategies? And if so, what challenges lie ahead for both China and the United States as this battle intensifies? The key question remains. How sustainable is China's newfound independence, and what obstacles could derail its progress? The U.S.-China chip conflict highlights the unintended consequences of weaponizing technology. While sanctions were meant to weaken China's tech sector, they have instead accelerated innovation and deepened global fragmentation. As the world becomes more divided, the risks of relying too heavily on technological supremacy become more evident. What does this mean for future conflicts? Can nations find a balance between competition and cooperation in the digital era? The U.S.-China chip war is more than just a rivalry. It's a case study in the unpredictable nature of geopolitics. To prevent further fragmentation, international collaboration in technology and trade policies may be essential. Global tech alliances could help stabilize markets and encourage shared growth, but will these efforts come to fruition, or will the competitive tensions continue to escalate? As China rises from the challenges of sanctions to become a tech powerhouse, the global semiconductor industry will never be the same. Stay tuned for more insights. Like and subscribe to stay updated. You can now check out another video on your screen.